Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the Social Dot In account. I'm Pradeep, and on this episode of the Social Media Weekly, we're talking about Google making their ad headlines absolutely huge. We're talking about Google adding black-owned attribute to Google My Business pages, and we're talking about Facebook Messenger rooms coming to WhatsApp Web. Let's get started. So the first story we have for you today is about Google making their ad headlines absolutely huge. If you didn't know, earnings season is now. That means Google, Apple, Amazon, and Facebook have declared their quarterly earnings, and it's a rather mixed bag. Well, Apple and Facebook both grew at 11% each, while Google declined at 2% for the first time in company history. Amazon grew at 40%. Anyway, Google decided that they have to do something about it, and they're making their ad headlines absolutely huge. So this was first discovered by PPC Hubbub, and the first line of the Google search ad has been made absolutely huge. It remains to be seen whether this will happen for all the ads or only the absolute top page ad. And it will obviously increase Google's revenue as well as the click-through rate. The next story has to do with Google adding the black-owned attributes to verified GMB pages in the US. So if you are a business with a verified GMB page in the US and you are owned by a black person, then you can now set that attribute on your GMB page, and Google will display it inside Google Maps and Google Search and allow other customers to support you by purchasing or recommending or reviewing you. Anyway, this has been publicized using the US Black Chamber of Commerce, and also it's a part of Grow with Google Digital Skills Training Program. Also, Google has set up their Google for Startups Accelerator for Black Founders program as part of their 300 million donation to the cause. Our next story has to do with Google Webmaster adding support for image structure data, specifically for licensing of images. So if you are a creator uploading images to your website or you're using images from other websites, you probably face this issue of licensing. Now, Google is adding schema.org support for licensing of images, and it will be visible inside Google Web webmaster inside the enhancements report as well as the rich data testing tool. Our next story has to do with Facebook Messenger rooms coming to WhatsApp for web. So Facebook Messenger is becoming more and more like Zoom. Last week, they added screen sharing and also live broadcasting. Now on WhatsApp web, you can tap on the three dots on the top left or on the attachment icon inside a chat. And then you can create a Facebook Messenger room. Obviously, you have to have a Facebook account. What's interesting here is that because this room is handled by Facebook, it is not end-to-end -end encrypted. But I suppose you don't really care about privacy, do you? Our final story of the day has to do with Facebook enhancing accessibility. I like it when companies design for people with different needs. On their desktop website, Facebook has added scalable font text. So that means you can scale the size of your font as well as they've added contextual headings. That means while you're scrolling down using a screen reader, you will see contextual headings telling you what an ad is and what an actual item of content is. Also, when you post a comment, Facebook will show you a success message which will be visible on your screen reader. This has been done on the 30th anniversary of the Americans for Disabilities, and I'm all for such moves by big companies. That's about it for this week's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments down below. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Social Dotin account. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video, and we will see you guys in the next episode.